Welcome to the extracts of Happy Sexy Millionaire by Stephen Bartlett. Unexpected truths about fulfillment, love, and success for me. Imagine this. You're 25, running a successful startup, swimming in cash, and famous online. Traveling the world in luxury and living it up in New York sounds dreamy, right? But then, one day, your company hits the stock exchange for a whopping $200 million. How would you feel? That's what happened to Stephen Bartlett in 2019. But surprisingly, he felt nothing. It made him question everything about life and what really matters. At first glance, Bartlett's story seems like a classic rags-to-riches tale. He grew up in a struggling family, faced school troubles, and hustled hard to build a successful career. At, at age 18, his goal was to be a happy, sexy millionaire. And by 25, he was one, at least on the outside. He felt empty inside. It turns out he's been chasing the wrong things. He wanted fulfillment, love, and real success, not just money and fame. And now, he's found those things in unexpected places. If you're tired of the happy, sexy millionaire myth and want real happiness and success, you're in the right spot. Let Bartlett guide you to a life that's truly fulfilling, loved, and successful. Get ready for a journey that'll change the way you see success. Before diving into this extract, I have a quick request. 83% of viewers tuned into this channel do not subscribe to this channel. My aim is to keep it down to 50%. If you've enjoyed any of our content, could you do me a small favor? Just to click on that subscribe button and that can be a game changer. The support means more than you can imagine. Thank you and enjoy this extract. Extract 1. Kill Comparison Bartlett's upbringing could have been different if his family stayed in a small Botswana village. Life there was shorter, making enough and what matters different. Instead, he grew up in the UK feeling poor among wealthy people. Like comedian Dave Chappelle, Bartlett compared his struggling family to those around him who had more. Our brains naturally compare things to help make quick decisions. It's handy, but in today's world where social media bombards us, it can be harmful. We're not just comparing with people nearby. Platforms like Instagram make us compare with everyone, even celebrities. The fix. Compare yourself to who you were before. Measure your growth, not against online stars, but against your past self. Sometimes it's okay to mute or unfollow people online or in real life if they make you feel bad. Find real role models who support healthy ideas, not just the latest ads. If you want inspiring figures around, choose wisely and keep it small. Plus up. Extract 2. Center around the connection. My not everyone needs to get married, have a family, or live with a partner, but everyone does need real connections with other people. A recent study showed that almost half of 20,000 adults from Western countries felt lonely and lacked meaningful social interactions. This generation, often called the connected generation, is actually the loneliest on record which is a big problem because loneliness can lead to health issues and early death. Bartlett and his friends, Dom and Anthony, learned this the hard way. They were all about working long, hard hours, thinking it would make them successful. Bartlett, especially, spent glamorous but lonely days working in front of a computer screen. Dom struggled with alcoholism and Anthony faced anxiety and depression. This forced Bartlett to realize that their focus on work above everything else was causing serious problems. Bartlett doesn't say that work is bad, but he learned that ignoring our need for connections can make us mentally sick, 
just like ignoring our physical needs can make us physically sick. Bartlett started making changes. He began spending more time with friends, calling his mom, and trying hard to build close relationships despite his busy work life. It wasn't easy, but it made their lives better in the end. Bartlett believes there's never a perfect time to start, so it's important to start working on connections today for a happier life. Um. Extract 3. Don't follow your passion. Um, boom. Here's the deal. Stephen Bartlett, the guy behind this book, says the whole follow your passion advice is kind of bunk. He's got a point, backed up by research. It turns out we're pretty bad at guessing what'll truly make us happy. Bartlett himself became super successful at a young age, showing how unpredictable it all can be. See, usual job advice tells us to imagine our dream job, assuming we all know what that is. Then, like magic, things are supposed to fall into place just because we write them down. Bartlett says that's nonsense. He thinks we should pursue our passion instead. Sure, make your passion isn't as catchy as the current slogan, and it means more work on our end. Not exactly what we want to hear when we want everything pronto. But here's the good part. Bartlett's been in the business world and found five things that usually make a job meaningful. These are liking the work, helping others, using what you're good at, having supportive co-workers, and balancing work and life. The mix of these things varies for everyone. But think about your job. Does it tick these boxes? Anything missing? Can you make it better somehow? If you're hunting for a job, could you use these five things to guide your search? This isn't about quitting your job or ignoring regular gigs for TikTok fame. Bartlett wants us to see that our dream job might be where we are if we put in the work to shape it. Remember, the grass is greener where you water it not where it's Instagram perfect. Extract 4. Stack instead of specializing. No. Bartlett, despite not doing well in traditional school, became very successful in business. He explains his secret, having a mix of different skills instead of just one. This mix is called a skill stack. Bartlett says it's better to be pretty good at a few things than the best at just one. He says that in today's world, being great at different things is more helpful and enjoyable. Instead of always competing, having a unique mix of skills makes your work more valuable and satisfying. Making your own skill stack isn't hard. Start by thinking about what you're already good at. It could be anything, cooking, gardening, teaching, or marketing. Then, pick the two or three important skills in your field. For example, if you're an artist, it could be photography and drawing. Check if you're already good at these key skills. If not, it's okay. Just work on getting better at them. Then, think about extra skills that are unusual for your job. This could be something like public speaking for a programmer or coding for a salesperson. Make these your secret weapons once you're really good at your main skills. Success isn't just about being the best anymore. It's about being your best in your own way. See. Extract 5. Prize time. Hey, bum. Imagine you live until you're 80. That's like having 700,000 hours to spend. But because you sleep around 33 years in total, you're left with about 500,000 hours for everything else. Stephen Bartlett found this mind-blowing. To keep this idea clear, he imagines a huge roulette table called life. Each of us starts with 500,000 chips, one for every hour. The catch? Once you place a chip on something like work, family, or exercise, you can't take it back or win more. So, picking where to put your chips is super important. Bartlett isn't the only one thinking about time this way. 
Steve Jobs and Marcus Aurelius also stressed how knowing life's shortness helps make big choices. They're saying, live each day wisely. We don't need to be big shots to value our time. We all have the same number of chips at the table. So figure out what's most important to you, what goals you want to reach. Then go all in on those. Bartlett suggests something cool, too. Pretend your time is worth a certain amount per hour, like $100. It helps decide if spending time on certain things like cooking or cleaning is worth it. What is the main idea? Use your time on what really matters to you because, in the end, the house always wins. Success means making smart choices while you can. Final Summary Bow. As we wrap up this journey through Stephen Bartlett's Happy Sexy Millionaire, remember this. True fulfillment and success go beyond material gains. It's about nurturing your mental well-being, fostering genuine connections, and embracing personal growth. Sure, chasing fitness goals or financial success isn't wrong, but remember, external achievements won't fully satisfy our internal needs. We can skip the trial and error phase thanks to Bartlett's wisdom. By embracing even a single mindset or strategy from his book, you're on the path to becoming a more fulfilled, loved, and successful version of yourself. Feedback. We love to hear about our content. Share your thoughts and book recommendations in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about the latest video. Thank you and have a great day.